What's up, YouTube? I am happy, happy, happy that I got my new toy. Um, I got the Della 9 kilogram washer. Um, if you translate kilograms to pounds, it holds 19.8 pounds of laundry. Look how deep the tub is, okay? Um, this is big. This is big than, bigger than my other portable washer. Um, I'm filling it this way, guys, um, because I love this machine. This is a workhorse, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. On the back of the machine, sorry, guys, this is where you would hook that hose. It drips, okay? So what I've seen other, and I've watched every YouTube video on this machine, what I've seen other people do is they just put the hose directly in the machine that eliminates the drip um this is the washer you can go in gentle and normal and then this is the spinner and i was blown away i was blown away how well this spinner works sorry y'all <laughs> this spinner works so well this is what you would put on top of the spinner um the clothes were damn near dry okay and i also have um, the Magic Chef dryer. That thing is another little workhorse. This machine is a replacement for my other portable washer that I had for years that um, started to leak. I did not buy it um, to go in my kitchen. This is its temporary. This is a temporary uh, setup right now. This will be going in my bathroom, and this is why I selected this machine because of the size of it. This will fit perfectly in my bathroom and not have to be moved. Okay. Um, right now, I have it on a moving dolly just to roll it. It's it, you can carry it. It weighs about forty six pounds, but I'm not trying to strain myself. So right now, since I'm moving it, um. To the kitchen sink, um, I have it on the dolly. I will put the dryer on the dolly when I get the washer set up. Because my bathroom sink does not have, uh, can't fit the inlet holes, um, I'm going to change the faucet. It's going to cost me under 30 bucks to change the faucet. Um, you could fill it manually with the bucket, and I'm not trying to do that. Um, it is filling fast, as you can see. And um, I got to work on the drainage hose situation. The drainage hose is sh short and will not reach my bathtub. But those is something that I believe and confident that once I do some tweaking, it will be able to go to its permanent place in my bathroom. And my bathroom is gray. So I picked the white and gray, of course. I have to match. Um, they also do have it in white and blue. I got it from Amazon.com for $150. And a couple of months is going to pay for itself. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put some clothes in and show you how it works. I added some detergent to the water. This is on gentle. Look how, look how powerful this is, how it's agitating. Okay, I have it on gentle. I mean, normal, I don't think I need to use it on normal, but I'll turn it up to normal. And I think with normal, it just agitates a little bit longer. It rotates from left to right. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to add some clothes, guys. Okay, I'm adding a little bit more water. Um, this machine is very powerful. I usually don't wash towels with... Um, look how powerful this is. Um, I usually don't wash towels with my clothes, but these are not, you know... This is not anything special okay um, but I think I have in there three or four towels two pair of leggings and a um, shirt so I you can set it to wash for up to 15 minutes the spin spinner goes up to five minutes, but after three minutes, you really don't need no more than two, three minutes, and your clothes come out almost completely dry. Okay, so I'm going to let this run through. I'm going to turn off the water and let it do its thing. Okay, I'm getting hype, y'all. I'm getting hype. Um, Amazon has suggested, suggested this uh, 
hose drainage extension. And I bought it, and I'm like, this is not... It, I said, how, how is this going to work? Well, it worked. The key is to keep this up high. So far, no leaking. So that is one of two of my problems. So now I just have to change the bathroom faucet. I tried changing this piece. They didn't have a piece to fit it. <clears throat> Um, but you could fill this machine manually with the bucket. Um, but I'm not trying to do all of that. So I am going to change the bathroom, bathroom faucet. Um, I found one that I like um, for 26 bucks. They had a cheaper one at Walmart um, for $9.97. But I like the look of the uh, more expensive one. So, you know. And so I'm so excited. So I won't have to be rolling this in and out because I don't have anywhere to store it. It could go in my guest room. <clears throat> it can go in uh, my son's room where the other wash machine was kept. But I want to give him his privacy and I want to do laundry when I want to do laundry without having to disrupt him. So, so far, no leaks. I'm hype. Right now, the machine is draining. Okay. And what some people do is they put it in the spinner and then they put it back in the machine to rinse. The instructions don't say that. I've been washing clothes all weekend. I have not done that. So that's not happening. Um, when you hear this sound and you, you don't see the water coming out as much... Um, you know, it's it's damn near finished, okay? Um, a lot of these machines have a gravity drain, but this is one of the few that comes with the pump. So once you hear it like that, it's, it's a wrap. So what we're going to do is fill the machine up again. I'm going to add my fabric softener and let it run for another 15 minutes for a rinse. And then I'm going to put it in the spinner. Okay, so I have three towels in the spinner now. You can't put the whole load... You could do a half a load, but I have found when you spin towels with clothes, lint gets all over the clothes. So, um, safety lid, I'm going to turn it on three minutes, and if it's not balanced, trust me, you'll know. And it's spinning now. And when these towels come out, you're going to be amazed. It's crazy. I was so impressed with the spinner. So as you, it's, as you can see, this is not an automatic machine. You can't just set it and forget it. You know, go about your business, leave, run errands. You know, but for me, this works because I can do it in between watching TV. Right now, I'm making me a cup of hot chocolate. You know, it's still, I'm comfortable in my house as opposed to a laundromat. And it cleans the clothes so well. I was so impressed with this machine. Um, me and my husband are both nurses. And um, he wears scrubs to work. And I think I washed like six pair of white scrubs at one time. Might have been more. Um, he had three more pair to wash. But I don't, you know, I don't want to overpack the machine. Even though it takes 19 pounds of laundry, I don't want to overdo it. Um... And that's about it. The spinner, to me, once it, it starts, it's louder, but then it, it quiets down. And when you see that there's hardly no more water coming out, like I said, it's only been spinning for a minute. Really, only two minutes is all you need. Really. It's really all you need. So I'm going to stop it. And then finish spinning the rest of the clothes. And for me, this works. My colored clothes, I don't dry all of them. Okay, I like to hang dry them. Um, my underwear, socks, I'll dry. So this system works well for me. And if you're in an apartment and you don't have a washer, dryer hookup, trust me, this will work nice for you. And it's not a bad looking machine. And now that I have my drainage hose situation straightened out, I think I'm ready to move this gray and white beauty to its finally rest to its final resting place I put those towels in practically 
sopping wet. I see people wringing out the clothes. I don't wring out the clothes. Look, this towel will be dry in a couple of hours. This is just like damn near dry. I'm amazed by this spinner. This, this is the bomb.com. And as you get the hang of it, my, um, my second part of the load just is finishing up spinning and I'm already filling the machine for the next load. So as you get the hang of it, um, you know, you could be running the washer and the uh, spinner at the same time. So um, it looks like it's time consuming, but it's really not. And again, these clothes went in sopping wet. This is damn near dry. Okay. A pair of sweatpants. Same thing. Shirt. A shawl, which I'm going to put in the... Should I put this in the dry? I think I'll just hang it up. Might put in, let the dryer run a couple of minutes. I like to let my sweaters, another pair of leggings. So you can fit a lot of clothes in this thing. Okay. Again, this is the guard that, did I have it on top? I don't even remember. And I'm already starting my other load. This is supposed to be a lint trap, but it's trash. It doesn't catch anything. In the mail from Amazon Prime, I have uh, four floating lint catchers coming. They were $7.99. Again, I've done so many loads of laundry, and I got this machine in the mail on Friday. I've already done, I don't know how many loads, okay? Um, definitely a life changer. Gotta love that Amazon Prom, Prime. The floating lint, um, the floating lint pieces have arrived so I'm gonna put one in this is the final resting place it fits perfect um, the drain hose now that I perfected that issue it will reach the sink um, the only thing I have to do is change my faucet so the inlet holes will fit on there and it fit that's why I got it so I wouldn't have to move it from room to room and it fits perfectly.